Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be taking a look at something really awesome, and that is the Takeshi's Castle Skipping Stones in Minecraft. Now, for those of you who have never seen Takeshi's Castle before, I just want to ask, what on earth have you been doing? How have you never seen Takeshi's Castle before? It is one of the best programs on TV, and if you haven't seen it, I'll put a bunch of links down in the description for those of you that want to check it out. Now, for those of you who have seen it, then you probably know what this is all about because Skipping Stones is generally in each episode, so I'll crack straight on and start the explanation process. The idea behind it is really quite simple. The player has to make it from one end of the pond to the other without falling into the water, or in this case, lava. The only slight trick is, is that some of the stepping stones are real, you can jump on them and jump off of them, the other ones aren't quite so real, and often end in the player landing straight on their face. So if we give this a quick go, you can see that that one there is a real one, but if we jump over to this one, it doesn't actually exist, the player has fallen through and died immediately. It adds a little bit of a challenge to a relatively simple game, and that's why I quite like it. Now, I will be honest, I've never actually completed this challenge, although I do know it's possible. It's probably due to the fact that I'm really awful at parkour, so if you wouldn't mind tweeting me any videos that you get of you completing this challenge, I would love to see what technique you're using, either slow and steady, or fast and mad. It's always either one or the other. Now as far as the redstone is concerned, it is all down in this pond here. It's not very often that I get to say that, but because we're working in command blocks and redstone blocks, we don't have to worry about water. So what we've got is we have got one command block here, which is spawning the redstone blocks, then destroying them, creating a super fast clock, and then this one is spawning falling sand entities that are going in the positions of the fake block. So if we head over here, you can see that any of the ghost blocks that we have are actually just repetitively spawning falling sand entities with the cobblestone texture. It is fairly simple, although I'm not particularly good at explaining it. All of this being said, if you do want to check it out in a little bit more detail, or give the challenge a go yourself, then there is a world download down in the description for anyone that wants to check that out. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.